If a microwave's exhaust fan motor is not working, you should first remove the fan motor from the microwave and try rotating the blades by hand. If the blades do not turn freely, it's likely the motor has seized and will need to be replaced. You can also test the fan motor with a multimeter to determine if it has continuity, a continuous electrical path present in the motor. No continuity indicates a problem with the motor. If you're uncertain the fan motor is defective, you can use the multimeter to determine if voltage is reaching the motor. To access the fan motor for testing, you will need to fully uninstall the microwave and remove the fan motor access panel and potentially the entire microwave shroud. Be aware that the high voltage and current used by microwave ovens can cause injury or death if the unit is being disassembled. You should always unplug the appliance before attempting any repairs, but since the high voltage capacitor may retain a charge even after the oven has been unplugged, we recommend that only experienced professionals test and replace internal components. Once you've reached the fan motor, disconnect the motor's wire connector. When testing for voltage reaching the motor, set the multimeter's range selection dial to volts AC. Using an extension cord, plug the microwave's power cord back in to restore power. Now press the fan button. Then contact the meter leads to the fan motor power supply wire connector pins. If the meter display shows that voltage is present, the exhaust fan motor is receiving power and the motor itself is likely defective. However, if the meter display indicates no voltage is present, then the source of the problem is probably the microwave's main control board.